just finished our other live video uh, all about dive bar fins. If you didn't see it, you can see the replay on our Facebook page. So we're still here at the dive bar factory with manufacturer Ray Powell on the Gold Coast. He's going to run us through a really common question now, which is how do you put your fin blades into your foot pockets? So go ahead, Ray. Cool. Well, um, first of all, it depends on what type of foot pocket you're using. Um, I fit up probably 75% of my fins to Mares razor pockets. They're readily available, good enough to do the job, and they suit most people. Um, there's any number of brands available though aftermarket for your fins. If you're fortunate enough, you might already have a, um, a set of fins that you can swap the blades out and insert dive bar. So here it is, this is how it goes. This is a uh, carbon copper blade. Mares size eight and a half to nine and a half foot pocket. And the easiest way is to look at them both upside down. Insert the heel of the blade into the foot pocket base like so. And just make sure you wiggle it back and get it firmly as far back as it can go. Mm -hmm. Then with the side arm of the foot pocket, bending back like a banana peel, and this helps open the, the rebate which you then roll onto the locking T-channel on the edge of the fin mm -hmm. and just work your way You've to done the a few end. of those. <laughs> yeah, th thousands. <laughs> then the same on the other side. Not all brands of foot pockets will work as easily. Um, some of the new models of the Spora Sub and the new Omer, they're a, a little bit harder to get on, but the same principle applies. Check your fin and just make sure that everything's uh, square and not bending off to the left or the right. If it is, you can just make an adjustment, wiggle the blade in a little bit further. One side usually moves out of whack to the other one when you put them together. You've usually got to make an adjustment once. There you have it. And uh, now you've got the choice. You can either use the fitting kit, which uh, most brands will supply, which is a little toe plate and a, a backing plate, which require you to drill two holes through the blade to fit. Or, um, if you choose to, you can bond the foot pocket to the blade. And all I do to do that is just remove the sidearm 100 mil. This was a good quality super glue. This is Tarzan grip, shock proof super glue. Yeah. Add a bead along the edge of the fin <coughs> and return the foot pocket to the position. So, do you have to screw them in and glue them? Can you just do no, one or the other? No, you don't. You don't have to. I'd recommend that if someone's buying a set of carbon fins or carbon copper fins or anything that's a lighter performance product. Um, basically, if you're drilling holes in it, you will, to some extent, weaken it a little bit. Mm. Um, super glue is a really good, easy way of doing it. You can still, if you just use the 100 mil area, you can still pull them apart if you have to. Mm -hmm. um, some foot pockets will even bond you know, to the T-channel without glue, without need of screwing them in place and stay on there quite fine, so. Simple as that. Yeah, simple as that. Awesome, thank you so much, Ray.